WA5SON, Brian. Today we go motorcycle mobile ham via ham radio. So I want to show you my ham radio setup here on the Harley. Uh, seems to be a lack of this content over on YouTube, so I figured I'd make a video and post it here for you. Obviously, we we all know that if you're riding a motorcycle, for those of you who ride, you got to have both hands, both feet. So it's not possible to operate a handy talkie via fist mic or whatever. Uh, since you got to be completely hands-free plus you have you know like state laws and things of that nature So I wanted to show you this setup uh, Maybe give you some ideas uh, some things to think about and I'll share my thoughts uh, as far as putting this together of some of the challenges I came across and uh, Things of that nature. So first let's go over the antenna because it's always the hardest part is the antenna The antenna now in this particular situation. I have this custom bracket uh, this custom bracket I got from MARC over there in California. Uh, there's a ham over there who custom makes these and straps right here on the bar. I'll put these. Uh, I'll put the group name in the description of the video so you have it. But uh, so that's a custom order I got from them, and it's just running a uh, you know just a regular uh, mobile uh, mobile mount UHF mount on here, and then this is a Comet um, Comet antenna and. Specifically picked a half wave because half waves um, they're not as susceptible to needing a ground plane. Now, this is grounded to the chassis of the bike, but obviously the bike is much smaller than a vehicle, so it's kind of like a compromised ground. So uh, that's why I went with the half wave versus a quarter wave, or uh, the longer ones are just too darn long, but that's why I used the half wave. All right, so let's go back to the front where all the business business happens. Let's look at the radio. So the radio is a Yesu FTM10. Now this is this unit is uh, waterproof, so and it does have a mic in it, so you could just push the push to talk right here and talk directly in it, and it's got a speaker in it. Uh, but it's a little small unit with a little bracket that you get that you can attach to here. Uh, I do have a fist mic for when I'm mobile, and just comes out of here and then you know attaches over there. Um, that's optional whether you would put that on there. But uh, Yesu doesn't um, make this radio anymore, so I found this actually on eBay, and you can find them every once in a while, but they're becoming less and less common, uh, seems they're, they're not showing. And it's the only um, ham waterproof radio out there. They, they don't make new production of it. So that's the radio head, head unit, and obviously we have a body. I'll get the body. Now the body of the radio is not waterproof. Which I have it located back here and of course you know you got your coax and power and all that stuff and the power is run to you know obviously from the bike uh, running on a relay so it turns the radio on and off automatically so not much happening back here that's just the body of the radio so back over the front so that's the radio in general and then so how do I interface you know the audio and the PTT from the radio to you know me right and that happens through my comm systems on my helmet so this is a Senna SMH10 so it's just a Bluetooth uh, comm system so it's got speakers inside and then of course you got your mic right here and it's just Bluetooth from this guy uh, nice thing about this is when I want to charge it this just comes this just comes off I can do this one-handed so this just comes off and then you can charge this and then put it back on if you need to so that's the helmet system now the Bluetooth the helmet to the radio I gotta have an interface and that's where this little bugger comes in this is the uh, Senna SR10 and I'll leave links to all this stuff in the description so you have it but um, so all this does and this goes directly to this plug goes directly to the radio itself in, in the tour pack. So I'm tapping audio, transmit, receive, and PTT, and it all comes in here. And that's where this comes in. Now this cable is uh, bare, so it's just, I get this connector, and then this is a bare wire, essentially, on the other end, pigtail. And then I have to get the, the other end for the radio, and then you know look at the diagrams and put them all together. Uh, there is information out there on that uh, This one right here. This is the PTT switch. So um, It runs 
you know, this little line runs all the way through over here and then comes back over to this button. So as I'm writing, I can push the button and I can talk. So that's kind of how that works. So, and then, uh, yeah, this just pairs via Bluetooth with the helmet. But there's, there's a few things. There's a few things about this little device here. So um, as of today, 2023, these are getting harder to find. I don't think Senna is producing them or they might be producing them just in very, very low quantity. Uh, I poked around, I, f I found one at a boat store, for example. They're, they're still available as of today, but who knows in the future. So the reason I like this guy is because it, uh, it is waterproof. Um, but the reason I don't like it is because it's based on older Bluetooth technology. And that's one of the biggest challenges I've had with the motorcycle mobile setup is the helmet audio. So this uh this system the the senate smh10 i used to have a smh10r and had the same same issue but they're both older older units and they don't have the best audio both on transmit and receive so I had to do some tweaking some tuning um I actually even had to put um the transmit audio on a spectrum analyzer to get the you know get the deviation just right and uh, had to put resistors in line with the with the audio to get the level just right because the uh, the radio had a mic gain control but it, it wasn't fine-tuned it was it was in big buckets so in order for me to fine-tune and i had to do some more experimentation with various resistors in the transmit audio line to get it just right get that deviation just right but even then after all that after all that said and done um i'm still it doesn't sound as it doesn't sound like i want it to sound it doesn't sound you know i don't have that nice crisp clean natural sounding audio it sounds slight slightly muddy which uh hey going motorcycle mobile so and then the receive audio on this oh man it's just horrible <laughs> it's just horrendous don't even try to listen to music on that thing it sucks um but for just for general radio comms, it works quite well. So I'll keep experimenting, see if I can, you know, improve uh, this setup here. Uh, maybe I'll find a new uh, interface device for Bluetooth uh, that will actually, because the the newer uh, comm systems, you know, like the the uh, the ones from Cardo, for example, uh, that's great, great audio both on the uh, transmit side and the receive side but the problem with that thing it doesn't it won't bluetooth with this because that one's on newer bluetooth technology and this one's older bluetooth technology so it, it won't interface to it naturally um, so that's a, that's an issue there i'd much rather use that comm system than than this one but i'm kind of stuck i'm kind of stuck with this one because this is the one that works with the sr10 so those are kind of, kind of some of the challenges uh, that you'll come across if you're deciding to go motorcycle mobile. Um, it is possible. Uh, it is expensive. <laughs> I will tell you that. This wasn't a cheap cheap venture. Um, yeah, the radio itself, uh, you can probably pick these up for like 250 somewhere around there. Then, of course, you know, you got to get the bracket and the cable and this stuff starts adding up. You know, 20 bucks here, 30 bucks here, 50 bucks there. Uh, this deal is a little under 200 and you got to get the cable and that's, you know, another 20 bucks. And then, you know, these little inter the comm system here, these are about 150 bucks um the antenna bracket i can't remember how much the antenna bracket was and then of course you know this and the antenna itself so it adds up over time it's it's not uh it's not a cheap install that's for sure if you want to go motorcycle mobile so something to keep in mind if you're wanting to do that anyways well i hope this helped you uh if you're going down the motorcycle mobile right mobile route and this helped to give you some ideas uh some challenges you may expect some things to look into some things to look out for. And yeah, have a good one. 7-3.